What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So we're gonna check out fans who inappropriately touched WWE wrestlers, man. Look, look, y'all. It's cool. You get to go to these shows, see these uh, wrestlers that you've seen over the years on television. You're, you're up close and personal to them. But you shouldn't be touching them, y'all. Yeah, you shouldn't be over there groping and grabbing. They're human beings just like you and me. I don't know how y'all would feel if someone was groping and grabbing on you. Well, let me rephrase that. I think some of you guys would like someone to grope and grab. But when they're trying to do their job, man, I'm sure they don't want to be touched and filled on. So we're going to check out the moments where the fans uh, said, you know what? I paid good money, so I'm going to touch and feel. We're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Do the damn thing. Fans are some of the most energetic and passionate people in the world. However, fans do overstep their boundaries and have inappropriately touched the wrestlers. Whoa. Triple H and Kane's championship versus mask match is mostly remembered for Kane's dramatic unmasking yeah. after the match. However, one female fan in the audience made the night memorable for a different reason. About a minute into the match, Kane and Triple H went over the barricade and started fighting amongst the fans. A woman in the front row was right up against the game oh, she loving and decided it. to touch Triple H's backside. Oh. Oh. It was incredibly subtle, and most viewers didn't see it. Whoa. And the game himself didn't even sell the inappropriate touch. When he first appeared in the main roster, Damn. Roman Reigns, along with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, would always walk through. Hey man, women be getting away with some some stuff. If a man was to do that to a woman, boy, oh my God, that shit would be. Mm. Headline news, just saying. The crowd when they made their entrance. Even after the group ended, Roan Reigns continued to enter through the audience. But these incidents are probably the reasons why he stopped doing it. During a match against Fandango on SmackDown, Reigns was making his entrance like normal. However, a woman standing next to Roman thought she wasn't close enough and decided to rub her hand along oh. Roman's arm. The fan's reaction afterward says it all. At a different event, a fan uh, went even further. She was definitely moist afterwards. If she was there with a guy, that guy uh, didn't stand a chance. The only thing she was thinking about on the car ride home was Roman Reigns. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> While walking through the crowd, a woman tried to get Roman Reigns to touch her chest. Jeez, even Roman Reigns He's was like, surprised by it. Chill. One fan incident was so weird that WWE decided to erase it from history. Shortly after The Shield broke up, Roman was making his usual entrance for a match against Kane on SmackDown. A girl decided to grab Roman's hand, and Reigns had to actually swipe her away. Maybe uh... WWE felt like Roman Reigns was too aggressive or something, but either way, they decided to remove the incident when the show was made available on the WWE oh, Network. Oh, wow. If all that seemed inappropriate, just wait till you watch this. During Randy Orton's early years in WWE, he had this ladies' man persona. Mm -hmm. Now, whether this is part of the script or it was just Orton being himself is up for debate. But one female fan decided to play along. While at a non televised show in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a woman decided to lick the legend killer's chest. Oh! She didn't go in for a kiss or a touch, she wanted a lick. Yeah, Randy's face tells it all. Surely Bro, before... Randy played that shit like a G. He was like, go ahead. You know you want to. Bro, and he just walks off nonchalant like. You know who I am. I'm the, I'm the legend killer. You know what's up. Bro. <laughs> Yo. He just sat there just. Let me go handle business in the ring. <laughs> AJ Styles made his WWE debut. He faced off against Adam Cole in Ring of Honor. The two put on Didn't an know amazing that. show, and the fans were eager to show their appreciation. Maybe a bit too eager. After winning the match, AJ went to hug a fan, only for that guy to go in for a kiss. Whoa. Styles immediately walked away, but it was an incredibly awkward and inappropriate moment. Besides yeah. shows, the one other place where fans get up close with their favorite wrestlers is at meet and greet events. We've seen men do awkward and sometimes just inappropriate things to female wrestlers at these events. Cringe. But it happens to male wrestlers too. Yeah. While meeting with fans, one woman was such a huge Undertaker fan, she decided to kiss the dead man. It's unclear if the Undertaker was comfortable with the kiss or not, yeah. but at the very least, this is very surprising to see and yeah. shocked a lot of people. For sure. Another incident that shocked people was when a fan tried to touch Sasha Banks' butt on live TV. To see that, watch this video. Yeah, man. Like I was just saying, man. That It's just for all people, men and women, just keep your hands to yourself. Unless you're at a house show. When you're at a house show, then it's fair game. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but no, nah, this was great, man. This was fantastic. I did not know Randy Orton was getting, getting love like that at the house shows. Man, sheesh. 
just licking all over him pause this is wild just wild man but comment down below and let me know if you had the opportunity to i guess for whatever reason they were cool with it you had an opportunity to touch a wwe wrestler male or female who would it be comment down below let me know and what would you touch specifically i know the comment section about to be wild so comment down below let me know who would you touch and what specifically on that person <laughs> but i appreciate all the love and support bro to 150k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace <laughs>